Hello friends I am Pranjaleen from Christian College of Physiotherapy welcome back to the new day and new beginning from today we are moving to the next section of modern anatomy viva that is lower limb so keep watching guys and make yourself perfect Shall I come in ma'am Yes come in Good morning ma'am Good morning. Sit down. Thank you, ma'am. Say, which bone is also called by nominate bone or coxal bone? Hip bone, ma'am. Tell me the overview of hip bone. It is made up of three parts. These are the ilium superiorly, the pubis anteroinferiorly and the ischium posteroinferiorly. The three parts are joined to each other at a cup-shaped hollow called the acetabulum. The pubis and ischium are separated by a large oval opening called the obturator foramen. The acetabulum articulates with the head of the femur to form the hip joint. The pubic parts of the two hip bones meet anteriorly to form the pubic symphysis. The bony pelvis is formed by the two hip bones along with the sacrum and coccyx. Good. How you determine the side of the hip bone? The acetabulum is directed laterally and the obturator foramen which is bounded by thin pubis anteriorly and the thick and strong ischium posteriorly is lies below the acetabulum and the flat expanded ilium forms up a part of the bone. Explain the structures present in a limb. It has two ends that is upper end which is also called by iliac crest and lower end. There are three borders anterior, posterior and lateral border. Three surfaces that is gluteal surface, iliac surface sacropelvic surface what about the pubis ma'am pubis has body anteriorly superior ramus superolaterally and inferior ramus inferolaterally body of pubis has pubic crest pubic cubical and three surfaces that is anterior posterior and medial surface the superior ramus has three borders and three surfaces that is superior anterior inferior border and pectineal pelvic and obturator surface and the inferior ramus extend from body of the pubis to the ramus of the ischium there are how many borders surfaces and ends in ischium ma'am ischium has body and ramus and body consist of three borders anterior posterior and lateral border and three surfaces that is femoral dorsal and pelvic surface and two ends upper and lower end very good what is weaver's bottom ma'am inflammation of the ischial tuberosity bursa due to long time sitting Okay tell me one muscle attachment of a limb ma'am iliacus muscle which gives origin from the iliac fossa Okay tell me the nerve supply of iliacus muscle ma'am femoral nerve good explain the course of femoral nerve it emerges at the lateral border of sos major muscle in abdomen it passes downwards between sos major and iliacus muscles the nerve enters the thigh behind the inguinal ligament lateral to femoral sheath It ends by dividing into two divisions 2.5 cm below the inguinal ligament. Okay, injury to the femoral nerve leads to It leads to motor loss in quadriceps muscle and sensory loss in anterior side of thigh and medial side of leg. Okay, good you may leave now. Thank you ma'am.